2011, Roblox told us to be anything, build anything, and, well, we built anything. However, it seems there was one type of game where players felt they could really unleash their creativity. Not roleplay games, not FPS shooters, not tycoons, but obbies. So I've always been a big obby connoisseur and I think so has most of Roblox, but frankly they've evolved quite a bit. Imagine showing a 2008 player what a modern difficulty chart obby looks like, they'd probably combust into a million pieces. But here's the thing, obbies back then were really strange. Like. Okay, look at this. Escape the Wii and through the TV obby. There's a couple rules here, alright? First, this obby right here is meant for noobs and Wii lovers, okay? Perfect. Secondly, each and every obstacle is possible. Kick out all the VIP abusers, blah blah blah. So from the looks of it, I was inside a Wii, which is cool, I'll be escaping a Wii instead of a great box. Anyway, this was pretty simple, till I got stumped on this jump for a bit, but... Um, turns out I was just getting pranked. After taking Mario's skin, I got to the next part, which was simple lava jumps, and then the next level, which I can only presume is meant to not only kill my character in-game, but also me in real life. Holy hell, that is bright. And then I died. Not in real life, I, I mean in-game. In Whatever, I ended up respawning at the next level anyway, and I actually ended up finding this secret room with a secret badge that unfortunately didn't work anymore, but it was kinda cool how the creator of this game was having fun and adding his own little secrets to the game. Another thing I want to point out is that I love how almost none of the walls are fully connected to each other, leaving little gaps you can see out of. I have no doubt that you could probably find a gap big enough to squeeze through where you could skip the entire obby and walk to the winner's area. Okay, so I was approaching the end of the obby here and i'm gonna put my live reaction to this on screen because we'll just watch it okay i thought the wall was walked through i guess not can i glitch my way out of here or something oh my god what the hell is that is that hillary clinton what the fuck is this oh my god jesus this can't be real hello there my name is jimbles mcbimbles are you among the thousands who suffer from constant night terrors and sleep paralysis after completing Escape the Wii and through the TV obby? Well, do I have the product for you. Introducing our latest product, Bleach. All you have to do is grab one of our patented bottles, take the lid off, and dump it straight into your eyes. Guaranteed to work. Just ask one of our loyal customers. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Huh, what a weird infomercial. So to add on to the genre of escape the obbies, here's another one called Escape the Coke of Doom Obby, which I'm going to assume was made by a Pepsi fan. <laughs> or if this is about a different kind of coke, then this was probably made by a Step on brick to be sucked in. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Alright, so at first I thought this was gonna be some weird Vorv thing, but holy moly, there's a lot of Coca-Cola related product in here. What goes through a person's mind when making a game of this caliber? I'm I'm genuinely confused if this person hates Coke or really loves it. Like, are they alright at home? Are their parents giving them enough attention? At least all the obstacles are Coca-Cola themed, so we know he's committed to the fact. Although I'm not sure why the liquid at the bottom is lava though. See, now I'm starting to get angry at this game. Not even the obby itself but the context we are inside a coke bottle and the liquid down there is lava it's, it's not even coke but my day was saved when i encountered the next part would be a parachute level which for anyone that doesn't know there used to be this thing with old roblox obbies where one of the obstacles would be two stages separated by a big gap then you'd have to use this parachute to slow your fall allow you to travel a longer distance and all these obbies use the exact same circular parachute model although not with a giant Coke decal. Okay, for this next stage, I'm gonna show everybody here a little trick right now that I call cheating because I don't feel like wasting time trying to find the right block. So yeah, this game was pretty interesting. Obby wasn't too hard and I like that the winner's area came with a rip of the Rocket Arena map so it wasn't too boring. And you know what? I think I'm gonna buy a Coca-Cola now. What a day, escape that Wii and that giant Coca-Cola bottle. I gotta stop getting myself in these types of situations. Let's see what's on TV tonight. What? I gotta get to the bottom of this. 
So another very popular form of obby was the Who Killed series, which I really wish people still made. These obbies would show you the body of a beloved character or person, and you must complete the obby to discover who killed said character. It was a very interesting premise at the time, and I would say it still is. Well, never thought I'd play an iCarly themed game, but here we are. This obby has everything, even Coca-Cola. So here's what the crime scene would look like in one of these who killed obbies. You got the dead guy, group of police officers, and then the obby ahead of you to figure out who killed said character. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I never really watched iCarly. I was more of a Spongebob kind of guy, so I don't really know who this Neville character is, whether he's a main character or just a one-timer, but that doesn't matter today because we gotta get through this obby to see who killed him. I'm already kind of impressed with the obby, the stages are fun looking and inviting, it's almost as if nobody was slaughtered in cold blood at all, but right now it is up to me to discover who killed him. I mean, I'm not really contributing to the investigation, I'm just fighting for my own life to learn who done it while an actual police force works to catch the perp without me. Oh cool, a skateboard obstacle. I would not dare try to skate this, know why? Well, these skateboards can't even be equipped for one, but luckily I have my own. But a few years ago, Roblox absolutely destroyed the physics of skateboards, so they are both really hard to control and really bad at doing specific tasks. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Also, I was pressing buttons. I was pressing a whole lot of buttons on my keyboard. I could not dismount the skateboard. I'm stuck on here until I reset. I will have to die to get off the skateboard, but I will do it for America. All right, what do we have here? Go on yellow or green. Red is lava. Be careful. Why would I go on red at all? Oh, I'm moving. Moving floor. Cool concept. Unfortunately, you can also bypass the moving by just constantly jumping. It's neat nonetheless, although you probably should have included a roof to go along with this because it's not really skill that's allowing me to beat this maze. It's more of a lesser known tip known as cheating. All right, I won't lie. This obby is not bad for the time it came out at least. There's just a lot of walking to do, but there's gears to keep me company. Ew, Pepsi. And I am motivated by discovering who killed Neville. I need to know who killed Neville. I have to know who killed Neville. But I will say it looks like the creator started running out of ideas as the obby went on, but uh, that's okay. At least the effort was there in the beginning to rope me in. Let me know who you think killed Neville because I'm going to say it was uh, iCarly that killed Neville. That's my prediction, uh, not because I don't know any of the other characters. Try to avoid the zombie, jump on ball, whatever, don't care. There's another thing too that a lot of old obbies have. You'd have to get into some sort of room or box with zombie NPCs in it, and you would have to run away from them before they ate your brains. Looking at it now, there are quite a few obby trends that have died out that I wish we still had in modern obbies. There really aren't any more who killed SpongeBob obbies, more like difficulty chart obbies slash obby, but you're on a toaster. And now, introducing the only relatively interesting part of the obby, the bricks that will bounce you off if they are not the designated color you're supposed to stand on. Unfortunately, it kind of also doesn't work. Oh yeah, almost there. About to discover who killed Neville. I'm telling you, it was Kai Carly. Guaranteed it was I Carly. I don't know who Neville is though, so I'm not too sure of the relationship those two would have, but uh, here we are. Here we have it. It was Lubert. You... who is Lubert? As always, the givers never work except for the paths and the free hats, of course. As expected, this was a really cool obby and I liked it a lot. For our next obby, we have... Oh, sorry, I'm getting a call. Hold on. Hello? Hera? This is Builderman. Oh, hello, Mr. Builderman. What's up? We have an emergency. Get to HQ as fast as you can. Right away, Mr. Builderman. Mr. Builderman, what's wrong? Hera, our pride and joy is dead. It's Telemont. Telemont is dead? No, he was so young and handsome. Who did this, Mr. Builderman? You want me to rub him up? You want me to grab him by the- I wasn't done talking. Oh. It's Telemont's pants. Big Ben. Murdered. Huh, okay. Is that it? Are you sure there's not like- I mean, all respect to his pants, of course, but isn't company stock, like, tanking right now? Is this really the best use of our time? Hera, it is up to you to figure out who did this and save Robloxia. Well, it looks like I'm off to save Robloxia. 
Okay, before I do Builderman proud and start this, does anyone else hear that? The running noise? It's just legs running. Is it Telemon's leg? Did they just run away and that's what I'm hearing in the wind is his legs running away? Because there ain't no pants here, neither are there any of these guys' faces. Holy, everything's going missing today. So this is who killed Telemon's pants obby, a similar concept to who killed Neville from my Carly obby. It's just the victim at hand is a lot stranger than most. VIP right here is open for free, but I'm gonna try to do this the classic way. And the first step of that is doing the obby completely completely myself because as we all know the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step first things first a great opener for this obby i have to avoid these giant balls of shit which i unfortunately could not oh this is interesting i know i keep talking about old features and obbies but you clicked on this video to learn about old obbies so i'm gonna tell it but it was common for people to actually pay the game creator to advertise their games and groups in game because well everyone was actually nice and like to help each other out this seems to be the z team by homing 19991222 I'm gonna see if this still exists. Okay, I did not expect this. The guy actually still plays Roblox, but unfortunately, I can't find the Z team anywhere. However, I did find an old inactive group where I'm pretty sure he happened to be a little bit of a micro celebrity that used to draw other people's avatars. Anyways, this is about as textbook as any old Abby would get. Got your lava jumps here, but in this case, it's mustard or. Alright, now I'm going to show you a little known tactic here known as cheating. Now, all I had to do was jump on these giant balls and pick a Telemon. I was wrong apparently on my first attempt. In fact, I was wrong on all of my attempts. From the second attempt, to the third attempt, to the fourth attempt, to the fifth attempt. I even tried to jump off to see if I could stick the landing, but I could not. But I finally got out on my sixth attempt. That's when I realized I could have gotten this first try had I looked hard enough to notice that this brick was a different color than the rest of them. And here we go, the culprit of Telemon's pants was... Carl the Cow. That cold-blooded killer, Carl. Nothing here at the winner's area except some generic path givers. Until I spotted a button. Teleport to playroom. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh god. There's morphs and balls and two whole face givers. That morph? Oh my god. God, it makes you slow too. Wow, this is terrible. I don't know if this is better or worse than the end of Escape the Wii and Through the TV, Abby. Where's Jim Pulse McBimbles when you need him? And there we have it. That is all the obbies in this video that I am covering. There are no more left. That is all the games we have for you and- What? What are you looking at? Hey, wait a minute. Didn't you do this already? Do what? You did this in the last video about the hunt event. Great video, by the way. But you did this whole fake out thing where you said there was no more games left to review and then it turned out there was one more game doing this whole twist ending thing no 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 this is it those were all the games i had are you positive yes i am okay okay fine yep that's all the games there are today feel free to oh my God. Are you serious? Maybe you expected it, maybe you didn't. Michael P, also known as the greatest Roblox YouTuber of our time, most well known for his Abby for Suck video in which he pulls off this iconic scream. Maybe we can jump. But here we are, we finally made it. The obby for suck. I don't know what suck means. I think it's congratulations in another language. Although I'm not sure I'll be able to pull off a Michael P tier scream if I actually end up dying. But after my experiences in the last few games, who knows? <laughs> but for now, these were some weird obbies, don't you think? I'm sure everybody has said in their life, gee, I wonder what it would be like to escape a Wii or a giant coke bottle or something. For now, you can join the Discord server. We're at about 40 members already and it's still growing. Hold on, let me make this jump. 